I played the war champion Magnus Carson. How? It was during a private event organized by Julius Bear and Chess24, and I would like to thank them so much for this opportunity. Also, there is a surprise during the video. Magnus sent me a prize. And it's not beats. No worries. Okay, Magnus, when you're ready, let's, okay. let's hope that your opponent's here. Okay, there we go. I think it's going to be accepted, the King's Gambit. Oh, no, it's a counter gambit. Okay, then I go for the counter counter gambit then. This is uh, definitely something that comes with the disclaimer of do not try this at home, this particular opening. Okay, attacking the center, but unless my opponent has a good follow-up now, I do have a pretty strong pair of pawns in the middle. Right, d7 is an excellent move, attacking some pawns, attacking at least one pawn. Uh, bringing the bishop out, protecting the pawn, and developing. G5 is very good, yeah. I see that my opponent is a very, very strong player. Okay. Forces the bishop off. Now, I'm just going to continue to develop and hope that I can make something of my advantage in the, in the center. So. Developing the knight to kind of a strange square, but it's so that the knight does not impede the uh, development of my of my queen later on. So now it still has the di diagonal from from d1 to to h5. Now I'm feeling very good about my position. Okay, that is the correct move. Trading off the knight had to be done. Now it's a question: Should you try and attack the pawns? Or should you just try and castle to make sure that um, at least you don't lose quickly? Which I think is a very reasonable choice. I'll bring the rook in. Material is still equal. It's very, very tense. Bringing the queen in now. And the rook as well. My opponent could make an interesting knight move now. But then I'll grab the pawn with, uh, with the queen and... Um, it may not be quite sufficient. There is still this knight jump, but... Um... Oh, that is very clever. What can I do now? Okay. I can take take with the rook. Otherwise, I might have lost a whole rook there. But now I still have... Oh, my opponent has started pre-moving. Very tricky. I'm going to go... Go be Pac-Man with the king, just grab everything that I can. But the question is, will I be in time? Oh, I gotta play very fast. But I think I'll be okay. I think there should be plenty of time still. Oh, I expected the king to go the other way. But now it looks like mates. Okay, five seconds to go. Okay, this was the closest game by far so far. So that was a good job by, by my opponent. That's for sure. Wow, that was really close. And Magnus, actually your opponent is quite a famous chess player and streamer. <laughs> yeah, GG's Magnus. I wanted to ask, considering just this game, not my voice, uh, what would you think is my chess rating? <laughs> um, I would say um, 2200 maybe, something like that. Thank you, you give me more rating. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> That's, uh, no, it was, a, it was a good game. A lot of uh, creative, nice choices. Thank you, thank you for the game. Thank yeah. you. Any further questions uh, for Magnus there? Guest 11, that was, I mean, that was a roller coaster. You're really close at the end. Well, my heart is still pumping. I think I'm fine with that. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. I could also see the experience playing online with a lot of primos and tricks towards the end so other 14 players had a chance to challenge magnus in this same event and there is a twist because the one who impressed magnus the most received a prize i won yeah and this is what i received the one corner is out oh my god i know what is inside i can see it holy smoke holy smoke it's beautiful Holy smoke! Ah! Oh my god! Holy 
holy f Oh my goodness! Look at this, guys! What is this? <laughs> Magnus Carson. Damn!